Good morning, good morning. Welcome to A Daily Plan With Me. It has been ages since we've done this, but I'm already logged in at work from home and I sound a little nasally. I don't know why, I don't know when. Well, Thursday. Wednesday, Thursday is when it started, but um, why? Why? Anyway, so I wanna do a little bit of pre-planning. Let me show you what it looks like. So this was from January 2nd. I did a few uh, things here just to show you what it can look like when you use the notepad. Please ignore my extremely long nails. I can't find my uh, tip clipper at all. So I don't, I don't know, I've been with these claws for a few days now. Anyway, so this is uh, what I have for January 2nd. I wanted to show you one that's kind of in full. And then I'm going to start one for today. If you haven't seen the uh, planner setup or anything, I talked about these in the planner supplies video. And what I'm going to do, since they no longer have the inserts, I'm just gonna put some, some holes in this put it in the back of the month in which it corresponds with, and then I'll have a more detailed daily insert versus just my weekly. So now we got that out the way. I have you on my mini tripod because I genuinely don't wanna move my big one. And uh, so if you're shaky, rocky a little bit, that's why. My hair, my hair is up and around because for New Year's Eve, I had a half up, half down. And then I wore that a couple times when I went out. I did it again. So I have to rewash my hair because I have a hair appointment on Thursday and I'm getting my hair braided. So it's not gonna be too much uh, showing of the hair in the next few videos because like, please. Let's get some sticky notes. I'm gonna use my Ash, what are my priorities? I need to take my vitamins again today. Vitamins are mandatory. I wanna clear out some old items. I have some items that are from maybe a few days ago. And I wanna clear those out before I pull anything new. Um, some of the items I gave extensions for, we'll talk about that you know, when I get on the phones and all of that, but I need to finish editing that video. I wanted to post a video on Saturday, but of course, time was against me, wellness was against me. So I'm going to post it today. I was supposed to finish Ethic, the book, by Friday of last week. That was my personal goal, but Again, I was not feeling well. This is my current read. And if you're wondering about my bookmark, let me show it to you. I have this left. My bookmark says, and I never took the plastic off because my fear is that the metal is gonna scrape against the paper and I just can't bring myself to hear that or feel that. A well-read woman is a dangerous creature. There we go, okay. So we got that. Yeah, I am 153 pages in out of 250. So very lofty goal to finish that today because again, I'm not the fastest reader, but I am a reader nonetheless. Underwriting, how may I assist? Okay. Thank you. Not be a five. Is the responding fire department listed correctly? I see here for the fire protection area, Berg FDS. So what we would need is documentation from the responding fire department so that updates can be made. No, that wouldn't work because they might be closer to the responding fire department. So their ratings would be a little bit different. We would need it for this particular location. All right, thank you so much for calling. Okay, really quickly, so close. Anyway, sometimes the uh, policy, you might not know this because you're on the front end of it, but on the back end, we take a look at the responding fire department. If the home has a hydrant close by, um, we look at different variables to help come up with the rating for your home policy. Now, where the conflict comes in when you start talking to your neighbors and they're like oh my home insurance is this or mine is that 
The numbers will vary for multiple reasons. The size of your home might not be the same size of your neighbor's home. The coverages are gonna be different. You might be right next to a hydrant. Your neighbor, even though in the same community, might be farther away from the hydrant. Um, you live closer to the front of your subdivision. Your neighbor might live farther in the back. So they're farther away from the responding fire department, maybe, possibly, who knows. But all of these little things to the outside world are factors that create your premium. So this particular call was about the fire code being wrong, so they say. So I was asking, do we have the incorrect responding fire department? What do you think the code should be? A two. How did we come up with that number? Oh, my agent just said it should be a two. We're not gonna just, we're, we're not just gonna two. We can't just say the neighbors are a two, this should be a two. I don't know the neighbors. I don't know them. I don't know them. Where's your paperwork? Good, how are you? I'm ready. Thank you. Okay, the most recent one that we have is from 2012, but I can go ahead and get that over to you. All right, well, I thank you so much for calling and you'll receive it here shortly. You're welcome, bye-bye. Okay, so the rep requested documentation of a home that he's working on. So I'm going to email that over to him. In my mind, this is something that my old department should be doing, not underwriting, but that's just me. That's just me. Okay, the agent got his email. Now I have another email that came in. Uh, the policy was requested to cancel December 4th. Can you please help me on getting this canceled? I'm feeling like, no, I can't, but let's see. Let's see. I'm only saying that, no, I don't think I can because it's something that more than likely was already submitted. So what are you talking about? What are you saying? Let's take a look. Sometimes agency will tell us that they submitted something. Why hasn't it gone through? The client's upset. They're waiting on it. Your work in progress item shows me that it's pending. It doesn't show me that it was submitted. It shows me that you started it, you didn't finish it. Okay, uh, this hasn't been to, yeah, I can't complete it until it has been. What are we talking about? Don't do reversals. It seems like there was an ongoing situation with this particular cancellation. And since I'm working the team's email, I am assigning it to the person that previously worked on it so that they can complete it, kind of like seal the deal. So now they have it. Okay, and no calls are in the queue at this time. So let me give you the update. Here's the update. So this is what I've written in. I've got Duolingo, sort laundry, clear out old items, post the video, finish a book. I'm determined. Okay, workout, vitamins, sofa, because I need to sell that as soon as possible because I'm tired of being a procrastinator. Amazon return, I already called about it, so I have to send that off after work. Then down here, I have YouTube, so I want to finish editing. I wanna post the January plan with me. I also need to iron out some things for the goals and finances video so that it makes sense as a video. It makes sense in my planner, but as a video, you know? And then I need to figure out what videos I'm going to schedule for next week because I do wanna take my exam next week, but I'm also out a couple of days and I want to finalize my checklist. Hopefully nothing gets left behind. And I'm going to keep asking myself, what did not get done last week? And then I'll be able to really understand like, I keep pushing this thing or I do this quite often or whatever the case, just to remind myself that I have goals that I wanna meet. And in order for me to be the person that I envision myself to be, 
I need to tighten up, okay? And here's the schedule. This schedule is my most challenging because I end the day on the phone and I find that that is not what I like, but that is what it is today. All right, the calls were not really much of anything today. It was definitely a lot of calls that didn't need me. <laughs> they didn't they didn't need my help at all really I think I maybe had two I don't know what that's gonna mean for you know the clips but I didn't really have much to assist with today people were just doing their own thing and then confirming what they've already done so it wasn't much to really talk to you about workday is over technically but I am <laughs> Anyway, so <laughs> I am going to set a 25 minute timer and I'm going to tackle the last few emails that I need to send out to other people. I'm then going to do a few items before I wrap up for the day. And then I wanted to work out today. I really did, but I want to get my video out even more. I don't know, we'll see, and I'm hungry. Do I eat first and then come back to this? I could, I could, and this is how it starts. This is how it starts, and then you end up not doing anything. You get so overwhelmed with all the tasks that you just end up sitting down and taking a nap. I can finish my book. I can edit my video and post it. I can, I have a lot of things to do, and I'm trying to do them all in the next six hours. I'll come back. I don't know his real name. Famous. Like, what is he famous for doing? He's got a very nice smile. Representative of the Smile Direct Club. I'm done. <laughs> Good evening. It has been hours. I had a couple of phone calls. I couldn't find my Blistex, so I had to put on Fenty Gloss. Just please, things have happened. I have been in my room. First, it was the phone calls, charging my phone. Then I had a package arrive. I haven't opened it yet. It's on the floor. And I've been reading. I have 19 million things that I could be doing, but reading is one of them. And I wanted to finish this book on Friday. So since I'm feeling better, I might as well make it the priority. And even though I was on chapter 12 this morning, I'm currently on chapter 18. So I am going to finish this. And the longer I talk to you, that's taken away from the book. You know what I mean? I'm going to pull an all nighter. So I'm still going to get editing done, but. I want to finish this. And is the next book in the series in that package over there? Maybe. Is there a storm outside that is setting the perfect reading ambiance? Maybe. Point is, the book is getting finished.